What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my UFC 305 review. We just got a quick review coming up on what happened on uh, everything that happened on UFC 305, the main event, the co-main event, and the fight before the co-main event. The disclaimer as usual, if you disagree with anything I say, please let me know down in the comments and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're on the road to 600 subscribers. Try to get monetized pretty soon. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Cue the intro. Alright, starting off, we have the fight that was awarded the fight of the night. We have Dan Hooker versus Gamrot, uh, which Dan Hooker won via split decision. I thought it was amazing performance by both guys to just take whatever punches the other guy threw at him. Uh, Gamrot's uh, takedown um, wrestling was tremendous. But Dan Hooker, at the end of each round, it felt like he just found a way to come back. He was just he was just fighting, brawling until the fight is done, and because of that, now he gets to be in the top five of the lightweight division. As for who I think his next fight will be, I hope he f goes on and fights Justin Gaethje. Uh, that would be an absolute banger. Two uh, brawl styles, um, Justin Gaethje. Basically has the same personality as Dan Hooker. They're fighting, they're scrapping until it's done, which gets them very far. And I think that these two fighting would be absolutely tremendous for their careers. All right, next up in the co-main event, we have Kai Kara France winning performance of the night after beating Steve Ursag by, via TKO. Um, I thought, again... Tremendous performance by Kai Car France. It was in the first round, so we didn't really get to see the fight fully play out. But Kai Car France looked super dangerous. I mean, he was locked in that entire fight. Um, he was focused. He was able to catch Steve Ursag. At one point, I thought he, Steve Ursag was eventually going to win because he had him back down, uh, striking him. Um, but until Kai Car France just flat out just annihilated him at the end. And so I really hope that this uh, gives Kai Car France his much well-deserved title shot at um, Alexandre Pantoja. That would be an amazing fight. As for Steve Her Ursaig, he could potentially fight somebody outside of the top 15. Maybe just to, um, maybe just to get his uh, credibility back. Not that his credibility is gone. But um, a loss like this, he needs to go back to square one and hopefully get a fight that's lower ranked than him. And finally, our main event of the evening, we have Drikas Duplessis beating Israel Adesanya via, uh, via um, submission due to a rear naked choke. I mean, the, the flat out bottom line was Izzy was dominating the fight. He was, he was hitting DDP left from right. Um, from uppercuts, everything, and his take Izzy's takedown defense was absolutely tremendous until that last round. That was the best that Izzy's looked in a very long time, but that night belonged to uh, DDP. As for who DDP fights next, I hope he fights Sean Strickland. I mean, everybody knows that Sean Strickland really didn't beat him. I so DDP really didn't beat him. Um, Sean Strickland, the way he lost, I think, was absolutely criminal uh, by um, split decision. DDP is an excellent fighter, but I think Sean Strickland really deserves that fight. And as for Israel Adesanya, again, like Steve Ursaig, I hope he fights a little bit down, uh, you know, just to get, you know, get his uh, credibility back. This kind of reminded me of the first Alex Pereira versus Israel Adesanya fight as Izzy was dominating most of the fight and he was gonna go the distance and win uh, the scorecards over until DDP or Alex Pereira uh, was just hunt they were just hunting him down and at the end they just pulled it out of there you know what and and, and, and finish the fight. These two are both tremendous fighters. I love the way that Israel Adesanya showed him respect after the after the fight. And I hope we get to see these two 
absolute behemoths go at it once more in the near future. But that night belonged to Drigas Duplessis. Congrats to him. He's still your middleweight champion of the world. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. I know it was a little bit short, but thank you guys for bearing with me. And if you did enjoy this video, and did, if you did enjoy my take, um, please make sure to leave a like on this video and make sure to subscribe. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. Hopefully we get to it by the end of the year. No guarantees, but every step of the way helps me out a lot. Uh, thank you guys again. I'll see y'all guys the next time I upload. Peace.